so now we have developed our code for our lambda function now let's see how we are going to upload it to aws lambda so over here in node modules we have the required modules we have the aws sdk and s3 zip module and we have the two files now we don't really need the invoker so i'm going to delete invoker.js i'm going to rename our file to index.js which contains our code and then i'm going to create a zip file so i'm just going to zip this contents And I'm just going to name it as index.zip. So basically our index.zip contains our code file and the modules file. And then I'm going to create our Lambda function. So I'm going to go to AWS management console inside Lambda. Also, we'll make sure that we have deleted the output.zip over here. So we know we make sure that we are seeing the actual correct output so i'll go back to lambda create a lambda function a blank function and over here what invokes the lambda right now we are just going to use the test lambda function to invoke our lambda but you can use various s3 events to invoke our lambda like as soon as a file gets uploaded to s3 zip the file and those kind of events so right now we just click next over here i'm going to write s3 zip file description zips s3 file and runtime would be node.js and here in edit code inline we're going to select upload a zip file we're going to click upload select our index.zip over here and let's Keep our handler as index.handler and in the role i'm going to choose an existing role which will be aws lambda s3 read write so basically what this role does is it obviously has the permissions to write to cloudwatch logs like our other lambda functions but it has the permission to read s3 object and write s3 objects on our bucket so let's see that role real quick so go to IAM roles S3 read write show policy. So here we have the Lambda create groups and create log stream over here, but this is the one that we have created for this. So basically it allows S3 put object, S3 get object on resource. So this is our bucket name. So we are restricting it to only the bucket that we want. So this is our IAM policy. And we have seen how to create IAM role and policy before. So basically you are just going to use this uh, policy for this function. So I'll go back to the Lambda, select our existing role. Basically, I just created that. And in the timeout, let's specify one minute because it might take some seconds to process our file and create the zip file and all. And rest all is fine. I'll just click on next. Just review it. Click on create function. Once it's successfully created, I'm going to click on test button. Now here in the event object, we are not passing any event per se. We're not using any event. So we'll just click on save and test. So here is the output and it seems like it wrote the file in the uh, files folder in output.zip as we were expecting logs were written so let's check the output so i'm here in the files folder let me refresh and here we see the output file created output.zip file so basically over here we created a lambda package 
and then we upload it to our lambda console in s3 created a iam role that has the put and get object on that particular s3 bucket and then we just executed our function and so whenever you want to use external modules and dependencies you'll have to create a package locally and upload the zip file and in this video we saw how to do that